<laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> no, just kidding. Welcome to our. Uh, I, I need to be like watch looking into the camera. <laughs> now, this is the most difficult part. Trust me, is the intro because it's like so straight on point. Welcome to our Azure Stack Partner Solution Series. I'm here with Tiberiu Radu, also known as Tibi. He is a Principal Program Manager at the Intelligent Edge Solutions team. And we are going to talk about uh, Azure Stack's hub solutions um, delivered by our partners and service providers in a short video series. But before we actually going to talk about that, I want to give him the chance to basically explain what Azure Stack and what Azure Stack Hub actually is. Hi, Thomas. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, the the Azure Stack Hub uh, started the Azure Stack Hub story started a few years ago um, as we were um, looking at covering both the uh, on-premises requirements of the the, the, the world of the customers as well as their uh, as their as they were going through their uh, journey to to move to the, the cloud, so to say. Um, so in the meantime, uh, the intelligent cloud, intelligent edge um, uh, story sort of started to materialize, growing from a hyperscale cloud, which is Azure. You can you can look at it as a global uh, computer, which is always available and um, has infinite scale. And then it goes through various devices all the way to very small microcontrollers, which are the Azure Sphere devices, right? Now, in between these, we have the Azure Stack family of products. And the Azure Stack family of products includes um, Azure Stack Hub, Azure Stack Edge, and Azure Stack HCI. Azure Stack Edge is a cloud-managed appliance, meaning you can order it from the Azure portal, and it's intended to bring um, that compute power closer to the edge um, where it's needed. So in cases like machine learning or uh, where you have IT solutions, uh, so that's what Azure Stack Edge is intended to do, to bring that uh, cloud-managed appliance closer to the edge. Um, Azure Stack HCI is a hyper-converged solution uh, which is intended to um, to um, provide a scalable virtualization and storage platform that's intended for scenarios like remote branch offices or you, where you have a high performance workload in a uh, traditional virtualization platform with the extension of the cloud services um, towards it. So um, Azure services are sort of extended towards the uh, Azure Stack HCI and you're able to manage these resources from the cloud as well as gain um, those uh, uh, hybrid um, capabilities, right? Um, Azure Stack Hub is a cloud-native integrated system. That means um, it brings the actual control plane of Azure down to the on-premises. So it works in fully disconnected scenarios, um, scenarios where you have data sovereignty or you're doing application modernization. But you need to have the data uh, on-premises, um, either in a geo, in a certain geo, or in a um, certain location, right? Um, so Azure Stack Hub brings the services themselves to the uh, the, the premises of the, the, the customers. Oh, that's awesome. No, thank you for explaining that. And again, um, I remember like Ignite 2019 where Jason Sanders, who is the engineering lead for all the Azure services came up and said basically in his keynote that we really believe that hybrid is a end state for our customers and not just an in-between state until everything is moved to the cloud. And I know that there are very, very good reasons why customers want to deploy uh, services and applications in not just in the cloud, but also on their location in their own data center at the edge or in their stores or wherever they are running services. So can you quickly uh, explain a little bit why customers would actually deploy services um, on in, in their locations? There are a number of reasons, um, but mostly we've seen three sort of buckets um, out there um, where these sort of fit into. Data sovereignty or regulatory um, scenarios where uh, due to some, you know, security reasons or regulations or whatever the, the case might be, that data cannot leave the on-premises. Um, then there are the um, application modernization uh, scenarios where you're looking to move certain parts of your application to something like a pass services. So using uh, app services or using 
some sort of uh, higher um, higher end uh, service like a path service right <laughs> so using the platform directly uh, to provide that uh, application modernization and then you have the scenarios where you have a connected uh, or a completely disconnected cloud running in your premises um, all of these you keep a consistent application development as well as operations across your public estate as well as your private estate so the on-premises would leverage you would leverage the same you, you would have operational consistency across your public and your private cloud but when you're considering the um, the Azure Stack family of products uh, then the hybrid use cases also evolve with the, that family of products um, so those three components, although you find parts of them in these use cases that we're showing now, um, it, it, they are um, building up towards um, a more complex hybrid use cases, right? You're leveraging each component of the family for specific reasons. When you're closer to the edge, you would go with Azure Stack Edge. When you're using more of a traditional uh, virtualization platform enhanced by the cloud in certain areas you would use Azure Stack ACI and when you need the full power of the control plane of Azure services running in your premises either a, in a connected or a disconnected manner then you would use Azure Stack Hub uh, specifically um, and then the, the, the networking uh, aspect of, of things, uh, these are um, solutions that need to be closed application, for example. So if you have a latency issue, if you have a, a bandwidth issue, or you have a remote uh, location that has a, a long uh, path to, to go through to, to an Azure region, and Azure regions are, are coming up all over the world, right? And more and more are, are, are uh, being deployed. But still, there are places where connectivity is an, uh, an issue and having that better latency um, helps. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I agree with these. I, I heard that from many, many customers that like these are, for example, the reasons why they also want to run certain workloads uh, in their own locations. Right. I also had a customer where we were actually talking about, for example, factories or stores where they just didn't want to take yep. the dependency uh, on their internet connectivity to the cloud, where they just want to have something there. They're still going to use uh, the cloud for processing power in the long term or in the midterm, but like they don't want to close down their store or factory just because the internet connectivity is not available. Now, with the Azure Stack portfolio, and especially with Azure Stack Hub, we get that in-between piece from like where you need these cloud skills but also you have these uh, traditional on-prem skills, right? So we see like a lot of people going out yes. and the need to migrate um, these services, for example, to Azure, but also especially to Azure Stack Hub, you need to have certain set of skills. You still, you, you need to have these modern cloud skills, as I mentioned, but then also um, understand these traditional workloads and also operate, for example, the Azure Stack Hub uh, solution, right? And so we have, and this is where we're going to talk about in this series, we have different partner um, solutions and partners which help us with this. Can you a little bit explain a little bit what kind of like partners these are and what help they can deliver uh, for our customers? The operator role is something very specific to Azure Stack Hub. And we, we try to be very conscious about uh, staying away from the administrator name <laughs> because uh, in a traditional virtualization platform, you would have a administrator actually managing everything from the, the, the hardware all the way up to the actual application. Uh, with Azure Stack Hub, you have an operator which needs to operate the platform on top of which you have the various workloads deployed. Um, this offers a the from a, a con, from a user perspective from the the person that uh, consumes these services is going to look and feel just like Azure and it has that uh, consistent approach of uh, deploying from things as simple as deploying a, an ARM template uh, to deploying so, solutions all, all, all up right. Um, now, the, the thing which is different from Azure is the operator side of things. 
because in Azure, obviously, you have the Azure uh, teams that are managing the platform itself. Um, but on Azure Stack Hub, you would have these uh, operators actually managing the platform itself. And uh, for this, there are specific things which sort of make sense from an Azure perspective and, and knowing Azure and knowing Azure infrastructure, uh, IaaS platform does help towards this, but there are specific, a specific knowledge uh, that you also need to, to sort of cover for this. Um, so the way we've approached this over the, the last um, couple of years is essentially we, we're seeing two types of uh, customers. Uh, there are ones which are looking at things from a self-service perspective, uh, meaning they have their own IT teams and they are ramping up uh, those uh, teams towards understanding the operator role and learning about the operator role. And then we have a more of a managed service approach um, uh, where you have a partner, which is a service provider. It could be a CSP, an MSP, an SI, whoever it is. That's managing that platform for you and then you're just consuming the things which are on top of it so for the self-service side of the world um, as we started the, the the journey with the early adopter programs we came up with a number of uh, uh, documents white papers videos uh, guidance on how to um, actually operate an Azure Stack Hub so these uh, set of documents are we've, we've grouped them together in what is called the Azure Stack, uh, uh, Azure Stack Foundational Series. Um, these are a set of uh, learning videos that help uh, somebody go from you know, knowing Azure IaaS all the way to understanding what an operator role actually is. Um, these are something like 16 hours worth of content and they are all sort of doubled by the, uh, the operator workshops. Um, where we've published a set of uh, guides that an operator would get more hands-on experience uh, with Azure Stack Hub. Um, understand what the differences are, understand how the platform itself is managed, uh, all the way to how do you troubleshoot and how do you create a support ticket and, and, and things like this. Um, so the, these documents help somebody have a glimpse into what an operator actually is and what the operator, the Azure Stack Hub operator actually needs to, to do. Oh, that's awesome. Now, I've seen those uh, guides and those videos and I absolutely love the content uh, we have there. Uh, it really helps to understand like how you actually operate uh, the, the Azure Stack Hub infrastructure, if you will, kind, kind of in a way where as you said, you don't have to do everything, right? Azure Stack Hub is really like an, kind of yeah. like an appliance, but there's still certain things you need to know um, how to operate. Um, this is great. Is there also like, I know that we also talked about when it comes to partner solutions and managed service providers. Uh, one topic very often comes up is migration, or as you also say, like it's very important not just to talk about migration, but also modernization. Um, yes. Can you highlight there a little bit more about uh, what the offers are there and what solutions we have there? So from a, a, a migration standpoint, you should never be talk, you, you shouldn't be talking about migration as a lift and shift only. Um, when if you would just move that virtual machine over on Azure Stack Hub, that's not you're not taking advantage of the whole uh, platform and you're not like, taking advantage of what's offered from the platform. Um, we've actually came up with a series of, uh, 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 with a blog series that highlights how Azure Stack Hub at its core is an IaaS platform and the things that are exposed through the, the platform itself, uh, out of the box, so to say, and uh, how it helps modernize those applications. Now, in terms of an actual migration, um, there are things as, as simple as creating an ARM template. Um, instead of deploying uh, uh, a certain application, just you know, install the VM, deploy the application, uh, figuring out the settings, and then giving that to your customers, uh, you can automate the whole thing with an ARM template. And in some cases, we've seen customers um, 
go from I don't know days worth of time that it took to figure out how to deploy that application because separate teams would would need to be involved down to uh, I don't know tens of minutes because everything would be uh, standardized inside an ARM template and deployed end to end. When one team needs to change something, they would just come in, change that respective bit, and everything would be sort of sorted. Um, so from a migration perspective, it's always about migration and modernization. Uh, to highlight this, we've um, in the next couple of weeks, um, the Azure Stack Hub will uh, be listed as one of the, the deployment, the migration targets for the uh, CAF set of documents. So CAF is the cloud adoption framework, um, and this helps uh, enterprise customers and customers all up with their uh, Azure journey. Um, it's a pretty massive set of documents, and it includes a number of things. It focuses on the Azure migrations, uh, but we will have a, a set of uh, uh, Azure Stack Hub specific um, guidance materials that will help uh, customers um, with their Azure Stack Hub uh, journey as well. Now that is fantastic. I'm really looking forward to that because when I speak to customers, especially when they want to set up their hybrid environment, uh, they are looking for that guidance, right? And having that in the cloud adoption framework really, really helps. Um, I also want to quickly ask you, we talked a lot about um, the like partner solutions um, for Azure Stack Hub. Uh, if I want to find these solutions, um, is there a way to yep. like get that, get these solutions? Or... Definitely. So the everything we've we've mentioned so far sort of fits into the the, the self service bucket, if you want. This is a um, with, with the appropriate air quotes, of course. Uh, but this is where you 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 learn, you you build that muscle to actually have a migration and modernization story, as well as operate the Azure Stack Hub itself. Um, now, if you are looking for having a managed service approach, um, we have came up with a, a list of partners that offer these uh, services. And these are uh, service providers that offer this managed services approach. That means they will uh, operate the Azure Stack Hub for you in some cases, they even go further than that and they help you with the migrations or they help you with the, the application modernization pieces, meaning if you, you're looking to rewrite your application and, and move it to take advantage of the, the cloud, the, the PaaS services and the, the things that the cloud exposes, um, they would help you with those as well. Uh, so this uh, set of uh, uh, partners are offering this uh, as a managed services approach. We also have a number of ISVs listed in, in this website, which are the uh, partners that are building solutions on top of Azure Stack Hub. So these are solutions running on Azure Stack Hub and taking advantage of the platform one way or another. In some cases, they're extending the, the capabilities that the cloud has. In others, they're adding their own uh, specific vertical um, solutions on, on top. Oh, that's perfect. And again, these are these are the two types of like partners. We're actually going to have a look in this Azure Stack Partner Solutions video series. So we have we'll have both kind of like service providers, um, but also ISV solutions um, to make your Azure Stack Hub deployment even even better, right? Um, so yeah. before we actually go out uh, like and and close this, I want to ask you like so for people who want to learn more. Uh, about um, Azure Stack, Azure Stack Hub, um, especially about the migration guidance, um, as well as the partner solutions. What would you recommend? Where? What's the next step? Except for watching our video series. Uh, there are various levels of uh, guidance out there. They start from the foundational series. Uh, they have they add on top the the workshops and the the guidance that is described in in these workshops, and then go all the way to uh, things like uh, the tech communities where we have a, uh, um, a common space that we're publishing articles across the Azure Stack uh, family of products, um, and then uh, even on Twitter where most of the PMs are. Uh, present one way or another on, on Twitter, 
uh, we we tend to to post new things on, on Twitter and we have uh, um, various updates there as well. Uh, now there there's also a number of MVPs, for example, that are publishing uh, articles and they're publishing uh, their own content that enhances this. And there are uh, a set of guides which you've actually uh, created uh, that help with the migration. And these are a set of videos that help with the migration and, and how to think about the migration all up. And these give you the set of uh, articles that you, you can use as a self-service sort of an approach. If that's not the, the way you're looking for and you're looking for a managed service, then our um, service providers uh, can help you with that as well. Now, these are, this is awesome. Thank you very much for all uh, these resources. Again, uh, I really appreciate when I worked with uh, or when I work with the Azure Stack uh, team or the Intelligent Edge solution team is like the responsiveness uh, and the way we can actually engage, right? And there's a ton of content out there uh, which help our customers um, to be successful with, with their deployments. So uh, thank you very much, TB. Uh, thank you very much for having you. Um, in the next coming videos, we will talk more about the different Azure Stack, partner, Azure Stack Hub partner solutions. Uh, so tune in for the next one. Thank you so much. Thank you, so much. Thank you Thomas.